What's up, Title Nation? We got our last day of February board briefing on Sunday. A warm up's gonna be three rounds, 20 down dog to foot touch, uh, 30 jumping jacks, 15 sit ups. Two rounds for a shoulder prep. We got six reps of, the each, of each position in the shoulder sequence, six reps of inchworm plus a push up, six reps of down dog to cobra. Okay. We got a strength thing piece today, super set. We're doing five sets of three to five reps of a pike push-up with a tempo of five seconds down, five seconds up, right? No, no pausing at the bottom, no pausing at the top. Um, directly after that, you're gonna hit six to eight repetitions of a handstand push-up, or, because I know some of us aren't doing handstand push-ups at home, a pike push-up, right? Two minutes between efforts, um, very challenging, okay? Then we got the dumbbell thruster plus row review. Um, we're gonna go over some technique about the dumbbell single arm dumbbell thruster. Uh, couple different rows, right? So we got bent over row, upright row, and then the chainsaw row. So um, all sort of up and body dominant uh, rowing stuff to review. And that's gonna lead us into our workout, which is a 14 minute AMRAP of one dumbbell thruster at 50 pounds and 35 pounds plus one chainsaw row. Okay, add one repetition to each movement after every completed round. So, which means I'm gonna do one thruster on one arm and I'm gonna use the same arm and I'm gonna do a chainsaw row on that arm. The next round, it's two. I'm gonna do two on my other arm, right? Two thrusters, two chainsaw rows. Next round, I'm gonna do three. I'll do three on the other arm. So we're alternating arms, okay? And yes, there's gonna be an odd number in there somewhere. Um, yeah, that's just what it is, okay? So, uh, warm up, just prepping some shoulders, getting a heart rate up, abs going, all right? Shoulder sequence or prep work is all pretty obvious here. We're moving, moving through some range of motion with our shoulders, getting those ready to go. Um, I wanted to talk about this superset strength portion here, five sets, three to five reps and then six to eight reps right after. This should be like a nine for you, okay? Out of 10, it should be very, very challenging. You should be pushing ourselves to get every last piece of strength out of these push-ups as we can, right? Um, some of us, it might not be three, it might be one or two, and that's fine as well, right? We just want that strong, strong effort during this. Um, and it might not be six or eight, it might be three after that. All right, everyone's gonna be a little bit different in their strength uh, and their upper body strength there, but a strong effort nevertheless, right? And then take the two minutes rest because you're gonna need it to recover, okay? Um, yeah, so that's a strong effort on, the, on the, the tempo stuff. The review is just gonna lead us into some tips and tricks on how to, how to dumbbell thruster and how to chainsaw row properly, right? All right, so 14 minutes is pretty long for this movement, right? We wanna be super efficient on the movements. We don't wanna be uh, dumbbell thrustering and having the dumbbell, I call it chasing the dumbbell around, right? So pushing it out front and then having to walk forward to get under the dumbbell. We wanna be super efficient in our squat to that push press, good straight lines, right? We don't wanna be using any extra energy that we don't need to, because that will allow us to get more rounds at, at the end of the day, all right? So good technique here. Um, it's not like a blast through the workout because we have to stop and then change total movements to a chainsaw row, which is not, a, um, say, a fast movement of CrossFit. It's not like we're gonna try to do Fran here, right? Even though there is thrusters, right? So it's a, it's a, a thruster, and then I'm gonna reset, and then I'm gonna get that chainsaw row in, right? Take a breath, and then I'm gonna switch arms and repeat, okay? So it's gonna be a fun little workout. Have a great last day of February, and enjoy yourselves. Happy Sunday, guys.